What is going on guys? So today we've got a pretty sweet video for you guys. The garage, as you can see, is all wrapped up in plastic, so that means one thing. We're painting. So, today Soda is going to bring over a, uh, a spoiler that you guys saw in the last video for his car, and we're going to be prepping it and maybe painting it. So some of you guys that tuned into the live stream might actually know what we're actually doing with this thing today. If you guys missed it, make sure to tune into the next one. I'm doing them every Sunday. I think I'm going to start them at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time this time, just to make sure that all my boys in the East Coast can have a good amount of time to watch. But yeah, it's a chill last time. I'm be playing a bunch of games. I think that the main one that I'm going to focus on is Most Wanted because I want to beat the entire game in an IS-300. So we'll see how that goes. It's going to be a fun time. With that being said, let's get into the video. There she is. It's fat. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. So we got the Eclipse moved. Um, spoiler is in the middle where we're going to actually start doing work on it. We got a few little spots that we gotta fill. Just gonna be using some spot putty just to fill that and then we'll get the whole thing sanded. Let's see how far we can get on this thing today. So we got all the putty on there. That's on all the pinholes so that we can make sure that it's nice and flat. We do have to make sure we round these edges because there is a little bit of a lip on those. Other than that, we're gonna get this thing sanded down to four to 600 grit for primer and then We'll be ready to lay down some fucking primer. Back at it again. I think we might be ready for the primer after we clean it. All right, so we got all of it sanded down, leveled. You can see all the spots we put the spot putty on there. It is sanded down to a 400 grit, which is pretty much what our sealer is supposed to take. Now we rubbed it down with some wax and grease remover to make sure it's nice and clean. I think that before we get to any painting, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the shop up just so there's no shit in the way, and then we'll put plastic up and get ready for paint. Is that the paint? This is a primer. Oh shit, I know it comes black. Yep. Super fucking thick. Two to one. And a little bit more. So, I think... I'm not gonna do much, I think I'm just gonna go to a three. Or should I do two? I'm gonna do two. Extra. I don't think we need that much. So you can see right here, we're going to the next two with the catalyst. No, I can't see shit. Halfway to the next two with acetone just to thin it. And we mix. All right, so one more wipe down with wax and grease. We're just getting this thing nice and uh, clean. So the the epoxy primer has a 15 minute induction window that we have to wait before we start applying it. So once that's done, we'll start painting. It's gonna be sweet. Hopefully, it works well this time. All right guys, so it's official. The first coat of the single stage is on there and it is looking so good. So much better than last time. I'm so stoked about how this is coming out. Honestly, like there's absolutely none of the issues that we had last time we're developing on this and it's awesome. We'll give it, we'll give it about 15 to 20 minutes to dry, dry up a little bit. Put on one more coat and then we'll be done and this thing will look fucking great so I'm stoked to show you guys how it comes out I think this paint job is gonna be miles better than the last one so I'm, I'm stoked about it this is gonna be fucking sweet All right guys, this is officially two coats down and it's looking immaculate, dude. Honestly, not a run, not one run at all. The finish is looking so fucking good and I'm so happy. 
I think that once this dries, it's gonna it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be pretty much perfect as far as the paint job goes. This is miles better than the first one that we did, and I'm so stoked about it. So I think I'm gonna close the garage up, then come back tomorrow and see how this thing looks, but I am absolutely stoked about it. This is what I meant in the last painting video when I said that I'm not gonna let this get the best of me, that I'm gonna come back stronger next time. Honestly, this finish is exactly what I was looking for and it has restored all my faith in painting and it makes me feel like I'm actually like working towards something, so that's awesome. All right guys, it is the next day. This thing has been drying for a good amount of time now. It is now completely cured, completely ready to pretty much put on the car. And oh my God, when I say that I step my fucking game up, I fucking mean it. Look at that shit. Ah, it looks so good. I did pretty much everything that I could do to avoid any sort of mishaps. And honestly, moving the desiccant filter from right after the regulator to back at the tank helped out a lot. And honestly, it, it feels good to finally have my painting system completely dialed because now I know that I can put down a good paint job. And it, it makes me look forward to what's to come because we've got a lot of projects and a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be doing. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot more cool stuff. This wing still has to be put on the soda's car and it's going to look insane when it's on there. That being said, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.